So today we're going to try something very different for us. Normally, I tell customers that our machines are not to be used to cut metal. There are exceptions. Um, this may be one of them. We're about to find out. Bandsaws for cutting metal are typically using very big blades and running them very slowly in the range of, say, 75 to 300 feet per minute. And you'll run lubricant. Aluminum can be different. Um, aluminum you can cut dry. It's because very easily, very free machine material. You can cut it without lubricant and you can cut it with a higher blade speed. If you use lathes or mills, you know you can run your tool um, contact point much faster with aluminum than you can with steel. You can cut dry. So that's what we're going to do here. So we have a Forest Manufacturing Model 480P horizontal blade traveling cable bandsaw. This has a powered variable speed table drive. It'll run down to about 0.05 inches per second, so pretty slow. We're running the blade at 3,000 feet per minute, we're using, which is fast. Metal cutting for aluminum, the general chatter is between 1,000 and 3,000 feet per minute blade speed, so we're definitely on the high end of that. The blade we're using is a one inch wide, it's a six to eight tooth variable pitch blade. We're using a relatively fine pitch blade, even variable, because this workpiece shape, we're gonna be cutting off a, uh, a flange, effectively. This is a vertical flange. It's about 3 16 quarter inch thick wall. So we're solid up about here and flange up to here. And the idea is to cut that flange off all the way around. This machine is actually a bit light for the application should realistically be using something a little bit, I'd like to be using something heavier, but this is what I have to play with. So I've got the blade set above the solid part of the metal into the flange, maybe just a little high. I don't have a real good way to gauge it. And the material has a weird shape on it, so I've got to shim up support it, but we're pretty solid. So what we're gonna try and do is cut this. I will uh, zoom in, start the blade, start the saw table feed and see what we get. But um, I'd really rather be running a, uh, say an inch and a half blade on this and running it a bit slower um, and running the table slower. But we have a pretty good chance of getting away with this and I'm gonna try as a proof of concept. So I'll telephoto in a bit here for you. Start the blade motor. Start the table advance. And let's see what we get here. I'm gonna have to. Wow. We're making chips. look on the screen, you getting this? It's taking it. to speed up a little bit. I think I can increase the feed speed a little bit here. Just a smidge. I'm not gonna double it or anything crazy.
meter handy. I want to see what the blade motor's pulling. on the blade motor. I forgot the full load amp, but I think it's like six. Full load amp is six, yeah. We can go faster. I have a five horsepower motor on here. I'm not even close to pulling full amps. We did a little more, when we're not pushing the blade very hard into the rear blade guide wheels. Give a little more. Table drive mechanism uses an inverter drive. I'm running at five hertz, which is one twelfth of the full speed. The full speed is two inches per second, so whatever one twelfth or two inches per second is, that's how fast we're advancing the work piece. You can't see this from the camera, but uh, the entire shop is standing around watching this because we're all pretty impressed. This will be interesting because we're going to uh, break out of the forging. Doesn't have a complete flash. Part of it dropped a little low. I suspect this was a uh, reject piece. Yeah, that was the forging. We're gonna bite into the far side curve. This is a, this is aggressive. It's taking it. some gloves. I want you to help me move the workpiece after we cut it. Grab some gloves. Go ahead and hold on to the top part. It might try to kick off after, the cut, after we cut through. So go ahead and hold it so it doesn't kick off. I'm too fast for that back wall. I should have slowed down once we broke through that back wall. I'll bring the camera around over here. Okay, that was really impressive. It'll hit the stops. There it goes. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Got it warm. So, that went amazingly well. Nice 
flat cut there. So just by being conservative, I ran a bit high. I could have dropped that down another quarter inch or so. That's just a matter of how close I want to cut it. But uh, this is a power of bandsaws. Very nice.